Hello and welcome back to Towboy Rapes, the new channel for all things rapes. So today what we have is the unreleased Air Jordan 1 Light Smoke Grey. These are from Kick Plus. You can watch a full unboxing of these shoes on my Instagram at Official Towboy. See how they came packaged and also what shipping network they came via. But in this video, we're just going to be taking a look at the box and the shoes. So let's get right into it. I believe these shoes are officially meant to release sometime in July. But for now, we've got this early rep pair from Kick Plus. With that being said, as this is an unreleased pair of shoes, the official pair is still subject to change. So for that reason, this rep pair might have some flaws or, you know, it might not be exactly correct. But from previous reps of unreleased shoes I've had, I'm willing to bet that these are almost perfect because somehow they just managed to get them on point like even before the shoe releases normally because the factories get the materials way earlier than the release date of course so they normally release these shoes way in advance and they're normally pretty good so with that being said this is not a legit checking guide this is just me giving my opinion of this shoe if you see anything that i don't see if i get anything wrong feel free to let me know in the comments and that would be appreciated but let's just get into the review so we get a normal air jordan one box we've seen this a lot of times here on this channel black box red logos i'm sure you guys are all familiar with this box so let's not waste too much time on it look at the size tag you can see these are an air jordan one retro high og I believe the colorway is white black light smoke gray i'm surprised they didn't include red in the colorway because there is a hit of red on this shoe the size is us 12 uk 11 european 46 which is my true size and like all air jordan ones these do seem to fit true to size so that's what i recommend you doing let's open these up we get a lot of random stuff so first off we get these jordan socks um you know just just take a look at that drunk man and decide for yourself get the leaflet telling you how to wear your shoes. It's all in Chinese, so I can't read it even if I wanted to. And then we get some new uh, receipts. I haven't seen these kind of receipts before. Let's have a quick look at them. Take a look at that. I'm not gonna read through all of it. it says, I paid 1,299 yuan, apparently. I don't know what this is. This looks like some kind of sample tag. I don't know if this is meant to be a receipt or what it's meant to be. And uh, we also get this Nike receipt thing. So yeah, we get a lot of crap. We're not here for the crap, we're here for the shoes. So let's open them up. So let's take them out. Here's the left shoe. You can see that I have chucked the white laces on this shoe because you know me, I will normally take white laces over black laces depending on the colorway of the shoe. Uh, so I think these are really good white laces and the right shoe, which I haven't laced up yet. You can see these have the black laces on. So the white laces came in this bag attached to the shoes, but the extra black lace right here. We're going to leave that to one side for now. And I guess we'll take a look at the left shoe because it's laced up and it's looking pretty fresh. If I do say so myself, I definitely like this colorway a lot. I like the materials used on this shoe. You know, we've got a lot of suede, which is quite a rare hmm, i want to say it's pretty rare on an air jordan one but i can think of quite a lot of air jordan ones that have suede on them especially lows and mids there seems to be a lot of them with suede but i just like the split colorway it reminds me of the unions i think that's probably what they were trying to go for here got like a chicago ankle collar and then the rest is that light smoke gray to be honest as much as i like the red i'm not gonna lie i think i prefer if all of the panels were gray including these red ones because then it'd basically be like a dior air jordan one there is a shoe that exists like that the nike sb air jordan ones in the gray colorway i've actually got a pair of those on the way so we'll be able to look at them so you know this is kind of a different variation of that so you get the normal cardboard insert Put the jump man on there so let's start off with the shape looks really good to me toe box is a nice shape you got a slight hourglass just overall shape does look good let me put it on a flat surface you do have a slight curve at the toe it does curl up a little bit but the sole is pretty much flat i feel like it should be a bit more curled so moving on to the materials we've got white leather at the toe 
This is actually really, really nice leather. I mean, it, it looks nice to me. I'm not an expert, but it's not tumbled really. It's a little bit tumbled, but when you press it, it just looks really soft and really premium. You've got that on the side panels as well. And this definitely does look like good leather to me. Most of the panels are made out of that gray suede, light smoke gray. Uh, seems pretty nice suede as well. Doesn't seem to be much color change at all really, but it definitely is suede. This suede has got me thinking that these would be really nice to skate in. I just tend to associate suede with skate shoes for some reason, even though you can skate leather absolutely fine. I just tend to think suede is better. So the red portion is made out of this really nice leather. Again, really soft and it creases really nicely when you press it. Super nice leather. Pretty sure it's the same leather as the white leather, basically, um, which is nice. You know, you've got consistent quality throughout. And then around the ankle, you've got black suede and the swoosh is also made out of that black suede, which is a bit of a surprise. I was expecting a leather swoosh. Um, I'm not used to seeing suede swooshes really, but I like it. I think it looks good. So look at the details. The swooshes look really nice. The shape of the swooshes are really good. They're pointy and they just look good. You've got the Wings logo on this panel right here. Black, shiny, embossed. It's a good Wings logo in my opinion. One thing I noticed, it's only on one swoosh, but it's the outside swoosh on the left shoe. There is a bit of blue dashed pen along the top right there. Not very good. I'm hoping I can rub that off, wash it off, or it'll just go away with time. It's not noticeable at all, but when you look close, you can definitely see it. Luckily, it's not around the main part of the swoosh. It's only up here. But from what I can see, the other swooshes don't have any of that pen. I have just noticed a little bit more pen right there. Not too great, but I've definitely seen shoes with worse pen marks for sure. Another thing I want to talk about is the shape of the toe when you look at it from above. It's got a really nice toe box shape. This suede panel should curl up over the toe all around and it does. Look at the tongue, we've got a classic edge on a one tongue. Got that white nylon material. I don't know if it's nylon. Um, if you guys know what material this is, definitely let me know. And this is padded as well. You've got white piping around the tongue. Sometimes they like to put a different color piping, but it seems like they've gone for the same color piping as the rest of the tongue. You've got this black and red Nike Air tag there. This looks really nice. There's no text spilling over. All of the text is situated on the back. So that's good to see. Sometimes you get Jordan 1 reps where the text is kind of peeking over the front. This does not have that floor at all. And this tag just looks nice. You've got the text on the back. Perfectly readable text, looking good. Moving on to the midsole, normal Jordan 1 midsole in pure white. I think this would look pretty good with like a cream midsole. There's stitching all around the midsole, which looks absolutely fine. And then looking at the outsole, we've actually got a black outsole, which is interesting. If I saw this shoe without the outsole, I would expect it to have maybe a gray outsole. Um, I think the black outsole is an interesting touch, but I definitely think it works for sure. And the actual molding of the outsole looks really nice. You've got all those defined little patterns all over. It's got a matte texture as well. It's not glossy, which is good. Moving inside the shoe, you've got a very padded ankle area. Seems like we've got this different style neoprene lining. Uh, sometimes you get more of a kind of mesh lining to an Air Jordan 1, but I've noticed with recent Air Jordan 1 releases, such as the Court Purple 2.0s, as well as the Royal Toes, they seem to have this different style lining. So I'm willing to bet that the Light Smoke Greys will have this lining material when they eventually release. You do have a size tag that looks fine to me, me being a non expert in the size tag department, but the sizes match up and stuff. I mean, let's be real though, the only people that care about how legit the size tags look are either high schoolers or scumbags trying to resell these as authentics. So that's why I don't really go into much detail about the size tag. The insole is just a black insole with a red Nike Air logo at the heel. You've also got a couple of stickers in there. You've got the men's size 12 sticker and you've got the materials sticker so you can see what kind of materials the shoe is made out of there. That's pretty much the shoe. We'll take a look at the right shoe just to compare. Take a look at the swooshes on either side. Again, swooshes look good. Definitely this inside swoosh. The, the outside swoosh isn't quite as good, 
but this inside swoosh, definitely nice. Take a look at that Wings logo, and also look how tumbled that red leather is. It seems like the right shoe definitely has nicer red leather than the left shoe, which is interesting. Yeah, that red leather just looks super, super nice. Look at that, plush. But yeah, that's pretty much a shoe. If you know anything that I don't, or if I got anything wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Remember to follow me on Instagram, at official for extras. Let's go to the on foot.